Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, YouTube pipe community land out there. I made this ants pipe yesterday, and uh, I made it from some extra, extra grade mono that uh, I got a couple of months ago from Vermont Freehand. I've made a number of pipes and, and posted them to my website, uh, www.pbhbp. Dot com. The, the grain pattern was such that I was able to leave a lot of those pipes that I made over the last few days, leave them natural, and you could see the natural grain come through. But this one really is very blonde. I've gone through and I've buffed it. Um, Tripoli and uh, the white diamond, and it just, there, there's not a lot of character that you can see with it being natural and smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down with some 600 sandpaper because I did oil this. This has got Danish oil on it. So I'm going to take that uh, oil off and um, get down to the bare wood. And then I'm going to go ahead and stain this, or dye it rather, with uh, I think some, some light brown. And I may do it like a contrast dye where I'll wet sand it after I dye it so that the, the dye will pick up in the soft green uh, streaks and uh, hopefully result in some nice flame character. So it, uh, it should look pretty cool. So I'll do this and uh, we'll be back and I'll show you how it's going. All right, so I'm back again. What I've done is uh, sanded this, just dry sanded it. Um, and, and sanded thoroughly the whole surface of the pipe. And I think I've gotten down uh, through the oil, that uh, film that was put on it yesterday and uh, dried. So one of the other things that you'll see now and again on Briar is these tiny little imperfections. And if you look at it and let the light hit off of it, sometimes you'll see a little tiny depression there. And I don't want that depression there. So what I'll do is take a little tiny dot of uh, super glue and just drop it on there and then sand over it. And what that does is that the dust from the sanding will collect in that glue and it'll set up hard as a rock. Uh, and, and it'll there'll be a dot there, but there won't be a depression in the surface. Uh, in my mind, that's the thing that's uh, just fine to do because if you look down in the bowl of this, I don't know if you can see, but there's uh, absolutely no uh, sign of any kind of imperfection coming through the surface, the outside, and into the uh, the tobacco chamber to create some sort of a structural deficiency that would occur over years of smoking. So this is uh, this is ready to um, for me to apply stain. Oh, one other thing that I'll point out on this. I noticed uh, this is sanded. I, I, here you've got some plateau and then because of the angle of the plateau, what I did was trim this off and uh, which created a flat surface. Ordinarily I would have this sanded down smooth, but because this is, uh, there's still plateau coming through here a little bit, you'll see remnants of it in here, and I'm going to leave that there. I think that's going to make a nice effect, uh, because those little tiny uh, pockets are going to catch the dye, and uh, it, it'll create some uh, additional uh, texture and effect. And I think that's going to look, I think that's going to look nice. So I'll be back in a sec. Uh, let me grab the the dye and we'll put that on. Okay, so what I've got here is a bottle of uh, Feebing's leather dye. It's a light brown. If you're not a pipe maker and uh, you're just watching this as a, a pipe enthusiast, this stuff is, uh, it's just messy as can be. It's alcohol based. Uh, it flashes easily. Uh, not flame, but if you touch it onto an area um, of the briar, and so, let's say you don't want it to go into the, the plateau, you gotta, you got to let off way back away from it because it'll crawl up into that, uh, into that recess pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and we'll apply this and um, see how this takes this stain. I call it stain. It's actually dye. It's leather dye. For dyeing saddles. I, 
I am going to go ahead and uh, dye the, the remaining plateau. It's just too hard to, to knot. I think it'll look fine this way. Now I can see already that this briar is picking up the dye and um, it's laying it into the heavily into the uh, the darker, or I'm sorry, the softer um, grain. I have to go over this a bunch of times because it takes a bit for it to even out, flatten properly. Alright, let's see. Let's have a look here. This could use a little more right here. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do with this is rather than um, attempt to wet sand this in order to leave only the dark uh, and have, have greater contrast between the dark and the light grain, or the hard and the soft grain, rather. I am going to go ahead and buff this out as it is and uh, go easily on it and see if I can get some nice contrast by doing just that. So it's got to dry a little bit. Uh, we'll meet me at the uh, buffing wheel. Thanks. Okay, so what I'm going to go to do is I'm going to start out with the Tripoli wheel. And then I got a white diamond wheel, and then I'll stop there. If it looks okay, I'll stop there. I'm going to go fairly easily on this. When I first started making pipes, one of the uh, my downfalls was pressing, putting too much pressure on, and it would create a lot of uneven unevenness in the the finish. And I'm going to try to avoid doing that today. I noticed a spot here that uh, didn't get enough dye on it so I'll go ahead and apply a little bit more I think that's good I am gonna go ahead and apply it to this ring I thought about leaving it natural but I think uh, I'm gonna bring them together and uh, see what kind of result we can come up with here. Now you notice I keep my finger in the tobacco chamber. Many, many times I've ruined my work because the wheel caught it and shot it into the wall or bounced off of the, the table or the, the lathe, put a big ding in it. Then you're back to taking it all the way down again and starting all over. So I'm liking how this is starting to come out. You can see it's picking up some of the, the dye in the, the grain. What I'm trying to do is achieve evenness now. Some areas of the briar are softer than other areas, and so you might have to linger a little bit longer on the wheel in some areas than you wouldn't in others.
So I'm going to have to apply the sandpaper to this a little bit because the dye will collect in areas that aren't uh, where the grains open a little bit. And here it's open, and here it's open. So I'll be back on that with the sandpaper. And here I'm going to have to come back with the sandpaper because apparently I didn't get all the oil off of that. And you can see how this white diamond lifts the sheen on this material. Okay, so here's what I have so far. I can see there's this needs some attention down in here, a little more attention here. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and re-sand this and then re-dye that and rebuff it. This will have to be re-sanded. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so what I've done is re-sanded the top part of this and uh, applied some dye to it. I re-sanded this ring and applied dye to it. I think that on this ring um, there's a variety of of uh, grain patterns in this and I think I'm only going to be able to get this so good. It's not going to be completely uniform. I can sand on this all day and it's only going to be so good. So there are, there's a point at which you have to say enough is enough. Uh, but let's give it a try and see how it comes out. I actually kind of like this. Uh, you see, uh, there's a lot of marbling, I guess, in there, and a little, some swirl. So that actually turned out to be pretty darn nice. I like that.
So all in all, ah, fuck. It's out of bed. So all in all, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. It turned out to be a uh, nice looking, nice looking pipe. Um, and once I oil this and rebuff it, it'll give it a lot of depth. So we'll have a uh, have a look at that. Okay, so get some Danish oil that will uh, rub on this, and you can see how once you get the oil on it, it starts uh, showing off some of the way that the the lights reflected. by the variations in the grain. Oh all no, all, that's going to be a nice pipe. So what I'll do with this uh, now is I'm going to let this set on here for a while. I'll warm it a little bit to open the grain up, let the oil seep in. And then uh, in about an hour or so, I'll wipe this down. And uh, so that all is left on there is just a film. And then tomorrow, once the film is cured, I'll buff it and uh, put some carnauba on it. Okay, well we're back. The uh, pipe is set overnight. The Danish oil is cured. It's not tacky any longer. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buff it out with only the white diamond. It's real, real fine uh, polishing compound on there. And then we'll apply the, uh, the wax uh, following that and we'll see what this thing looks like. I think it's going to turn out to be a very nice looking pipe. You can see the, the shine that it's starting to lift on this. This is the part I love the most about pipe making. The end. You get to lay a shine down and you get to see all the beauty in the briar grain swirls and in the straight grain and the bird's eye on the open grain end. See we got a lot of bird's eye coming through here. Very cool. I like it. And I don't know, if you've been following me you know that I tend to like shiny pipes. I like the wax See how that thing all caught that wheel and almost came out of my hand? Had I not had my finger in that tobacco chamber, this thing would have gone kamikaze into that wall right there.
Obviously, yellow is a big component in this light brown dye. Yellow is insidious as a color, man. It just comes out on everything. Now what I'm doing is just seeing if there are any kind of any dark areas that uh, need to be enlightened a little bit in order to make sure that the color flows properly all the way around it. Okay, so there's the first part. Ooh, spot right there. Now we'll apply the wax here. You notice that they go in a lot of different directions because what this buffing does is it removes the scratches and scratches run in different directions so you go in different directions and it cancels them out. Okay, so here you have it. One, um, one ant's pipe dyed with light brown dye, the green and red swirl stem, a briar shank uh, adornment. This is a nine millimeter pipe. So there you have it. And, and uh, the next uh, thing to do is put the, the maker's mark on it. Yeah, maker's mark there. 2022, so I mark it uh, 22. And there you have it. All done. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, that it was informative for you. Thanks for visiting my site, and uh, if you're a customer, Thank you, and if you're not a customer, I uh, hope to make you a customer one day. Thank you so much.